Hey world, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Shanice Alicia and welcome back to another Get Ready With Me. Today's video though is gonna be a lot different than what you guys are accustomed to because your girl wants to try out doing a three in one type Get Ready With Me. I thought it would be perfect because one, I have to reinstall this wig baby and I'm gonna give you guys all the deets you are always asking about my hair. So here it is. Two, this flawless beat, I perfected, okay? So I'm going to be showing you guys all of the products that I use and then also the methods that I use to apply them because they make a difference, okay? And then three, we are featuring Sim in today's video. We're actually hosting Friendsgiving dinner in a few and I thought this would be the perfect time to incorporate him. You know, he's a YouTube husband so he gotta get into it one way or the other. Also, today's video is sponsored by Red by Kiss and I can't wait to show you guys all of the products that I use for this flawless application how I melt down this wig so on and so forth I am also other also gonna show you guys my outfit what I'm putting on what fragrance I'm wearing downstairs to the kitchen okay <laughs> so without further ado if you are not subscribed to my channel Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Tap the bell so you don't miss weekly uploads from me your girl and I'll see you guys in the clips. Let's go so hopping right in, like I mentioned before, I'd like to thank Red by Kiss for sponsoring today's video. All of the products shown and mentioned will be available on their website. You can click the link down below in the description box and use my code Shanice15 at checkout. Any home, they sent over their lace tinting spray, the tinted lace wig powder, and the styler fixer frizz hairspray. I'm going to use these products to reinstall my wig today. I'll start by prepping my lace before application. I'm using the medium brown tint. I feel like that complements my complexion the best. Flipping my wig inside out and placing it on my mannequin, I'm going to apply the product directly to the lace closure. What I love most about this is how easy and mess free it is. It's fast drying, transfer proof, and it washes out easily with shampoo. The tinted lace wig powder is very similar to this one. Interchangeable if you ask me because you apply it directly to your wig cap. It's buildable and it contains different ingredients for scalp care. While this dries, let's go ahead and check on Sim. He typically has a much smoother process than me. If you know, you know. Today he's using the Styler Fixer Swiss Curl Gel paired with the Swiss King. He lightly mists his hair before he goes in with the product. It is super soft, you guys, and it smells so good. It's ideal for daily use and it keeps his hair nice and manageable. The Swiss King also helps to boost his natural curl pattern. So switching back to me, you guys do know that I'm a part of the secret society of black women who can't braid. Yeah, so fresh twist down here. Don't judge me, judge your mama, let's move. Wig cap is on and I'm putting my wig on. You guys ask so many questions about this hair, literally in every single video. Listen, it is from Honey Bee Hair Collection, house-of-honey.com. I will leave all of the details down below in the description box. I also have a coupon code that I'll drop there as well. This is the raw version hair grade. And when I say I ain't never going back to the regular smegalin, never going back. I love everything about the quality of this hair. I've had it for a minute now and y'all know she's my holy girl. She's old faithful and I wear her every single day. Okay. So Anyway, as you'll see here, I'm just flipping back and forth between the wax stick and my hot comb. I got to lay this closure on flat, flat. I did wash my hair and I allowed it to air dry completely. So naturally it's nice and voluminous, full of body. And I just wanna make the top super sleek cause that's where it looks like it's growing out of what? 
scalp okay so back and forth and back and forth i feel like once you've seen one wig tutorial you've seen them all so i ain't gonna spend too much time going into detail y'all listen to this music and y'all hear from me in like two seconds Now I'm going to divide and section my hair off to begin the curling process. This just makes it a lot easier for me, more efficient. That way I can get every inch of this wig nice and neatly. Listen, baby, y'all see, uh, wow, you see those curls and I did not use any type of heat protectant. Honeybee is just that good, baby, okay? But don't do like me, do better. Anyway, I am going to pin curl my hair just to keep them out of my way while I'm getting ready. And this helps the curls to keep curling, okay? <laughs> in person now because baby I am about to beat this face and I'm going to share with you guys all of my favorite holy grail go-to products whenever I do want to do an everyday look that's nice and neutral and it goes for everything you guys my foundation I promise it's my shade I'm just not getting back from vacation so if it looks crazy mind your business we're gonna contour until we can't contour no more okay so let's go ahead and hop back into the voiceover y'all this power grip primer by elf listen they were in there duffy when they created this and it has hyaluronic acid girl it's a must-have please go get you some now i'm about to move in and do my brows i've been so wishy-washy lately because sometimes i do them before foundation sometimes i do them after just depends on how i'm feeling but i'm moving in with this brow pomade it's from renee's blush it's in the shade ebony and you guys know one tutorial will tell you everything you need to know you outline your brow first and then you fill in light short hair strokes and you just make it look like how you want it to look because you're going to clean it up later what i told you about that foundation thought so anyway this soft matte by nars hands down the most flawless application you can have i love their products i always start with a brush and then i move my way to really press pat it in with a damp beauty blender this is nothing special it's from tj maxx girl i got it in a case for like 4.99 thriller ch -ch 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 -a thriller night that's how i'm feeling but anyway i told y'all do not mind that color we gonna blend until we can't blend no more look at just seamless that looks like well anyway moving in with nars concealer y'all know i've been using this like since i started doing makeup on myself on my friends 
I live by it. I live by it. If you haven't tried it, girl, you sleep. We don't have nothing to talk about. Anyway, I'm just going to highlight in all of the highlight popping areas. Y'all know where you want to bring a lot of light to your face. I do believe in the less is more, but go off, sis. Go off. Anyway, moving in with this Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. Y'all know I live by it. I let my concealer dry down because that's key. Okay, try it try it and then i'm gonna go in and just blend 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 this concealer out pulling it upward and downward away from the brows i'm also going to use my beauty blender to smooth it out and blend it out underneath my eye above my lip under my chin and down my nose back to setting your concealer and allowing it to dry down some girl it is a must let me tell you it's going to take your makeup up a notch try it out and let me know try it try it So now moving in with the Sacha Buttercup. She's a holy girl, she's a staple. I do like to apply my translucent powder anywhere I put my concealer just to set it. Now, I will blot it off because we don't want it to be powdery. I do have fine lines underneath these eyes, baby. So yes, they do hold a little bit of powder. So I like to really press pat it in there and kind of wipe it away before it even gets dusty. Then I'm going to double set and use the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey right on top of that, just underneath my eyes though for brightness. Now moving in with the Black Opal Foundation Stick. This is in Black Walnut. I've been using this for years as a contour stick and I love, love, love it. You can never blend too much so if you need to warm up your face some in my case my foundation doesn't match right now because i'm just coming back from vacation utilize your bronzers utilize your all over face powders utilize your contour products okay and then to sculpt my nose i'm just going to go in with a smaller dense brush and as i swipe swipe and blend it in i'm going to take that beauty blender and wipe off any of that excess product on there look just oh baby sculpt it now moving in with this contour palette by black radius y'all when i say i hit pan on this every single time that middle color is like the best shade to blend out my under eye powder and anywhere else i put that translucent powder because it just matches so good with my skin i also use a little bit under that contour too to really sculpt my face So I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer right there, you know, just to snatch that nose some. Now, moving in with the Warrior palette from Juvia's Place. When I say the best transition or all over eye color right here, it gives a little definition without doing too much. And then just a little lighter color on the lid for the shits and googles today. Eyeliner, of course, then moving in with my Maybelline Colossal Mascara. Regular smegula, nothing crazy. The method is though to roll your mascara under as you're putting it on okay and don't forget your bottom lashes a little shimmer shimmer for the inner eye because we live right and underneath the brow as well to just give a little highlight blend out your nose don't forget to do that blend it out okay very good now we're gonna set and then i'm going to take my big fluffy brush to press pat that setting spray into the skin shout out to aunt jackie okay jackie i know that is because she taught all the girls right like y'all oh anyway now moving in with the saharan palette i'm gonna go in with that nice little 
orange blush when I say it just warms my skin so good and then of course you know you take the smaller real techniques because she's that girl and you apply your highlight I do this after I set my face because it helps the color and the highlight pop more now moving in NYX espresso y'all line those lips okay Now this gloss is actually from one of my subscribers. I tried to check to see if her website was still available. If it is, I will leave it linked down below. <laughs> that girl flawless, ain't it? I'm sorry for screaming, but girl, look at me, look at me. Anyway, onto these lashes. What they say about girls who put them on with their bare hands? I don't think we ask for anybody's input, so um nothing to see here really these lashes are by kiss cosmetics as well as the lash glue slash adhesive whatever you want to call it i do clip my lashes just a little bit on both ends to make sure that your girl ain't getting poked all night and just uh onto the outfit y'all this brown leather skirt from sheen i'm gonna have it linked below y'all have seen this before with the shirt with a little pattern i'm going to bloop y'all see how i did that Tuck that collar in, small earrings, dainty, right? YSL Libre, and boom. I don't know what happened to that curl. Getting dressed was a struggle, but we're just going to let down these curls. And baby, y'all still ain't went and shopped Honey Bee High Collection. Girl, look at, uh, all right, all right. Do what you do, girl, but I'ma do me and Honey Bee. For an extra layer of protection, even though my wig fits, your girl has been a victim of her wig sliding back in, falling off in the bar. So yeah, the trauma, the trauma. We're gonna go in with the Style Fixer Freeze Hairspray. You can do this step before you actually do your makeup, especially if you have a full lace frontal. That way you can melt and lay your lace prior to the ending of your style. I simply dab a little bit on my wig cap where my lace lays and then I reposition my wig. I hold it firmly with a comb to secure it as it dries. It's a two-in-one formula. It has maximum hold and you can easily remove it day in and day out if you prefer, but it does have a hold that can last you a week, a month, a year, girl, whatever you choose it, do that too. Anyway, listen, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Spam the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. I will see you guys in the next one. I really had fun hanging out with y'all. Let me know if y'all like these. I'll do another one. Peace, guys. Peace.